Okay, hello everyone. I'm with Carla and talking about ChatGPT and how can increase language and English language practice with ChatGPT. So, what do you suppose, Carla? Yeah. I like the app called Call Annie. Mm -hmm. Because it's almost like having a real conversation and you're talking to someone. I also feel very strongly that you need to, that people need to continue real conversations with real people. And I often tell everyone, take five to ten minutes every day, make friends from the U.S., make friends from around the world who are English speakers, and speak to them every day for five to ten minutes. And not the same person, because everyone speaks differently. Everyone has a different take on words, depending on their own experience and how they've grown up. So to speak to the same person will not help you. But to speak to different people, different English speakers, will, will help you grow your language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's um, wonderful. Yeah, so uh, we need to have uh, rather to be uh, using chat GPT, you have uh, an idea for real person also in practice. Right. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, oh, and it's great. Mm -hmm. Really, I've tried it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You really have a conversation, but it's still mm -hmm. not a real person. Okay. And a real person will not be able to correct the pronunciation, mm -hmm. will not be able to correct the mm. that chat, I don't know, according to me, I'd probably chat G. BT has a lot more ability than I'm giving it credit for. We had a long talk about it the other day. Yeah. But at the same time, there's no substitute for talking to a real person. Mm. Because the real person is something that we have precious time, emotions, and uh, value to exchange idea for the long term and uh, for the time being. That is a wonderful. Yeah, this is a valuable idea. Uh, what do you suggest? How long the people are doing that? Emotional is every time empathy, compassion, and different emotion is also missing. So how can the we can adopt this emotion in our conversations? Um, you do it, I mean, when you talk to someone. Mm -hmm. and so it, sometimes they make you angry, sometimes they make you happy, sometimes they bring a big smile to your face, and sometimes you just want to knock them in the head. Mm -hmm. And you just, you be yourself. Mm -hmm. Most people are afraid to go on camera because they're afraid that they're going to say something that will annoy someone. Yeah. They really can't. Yeah. And they annoy you for about five or ten minutes and then you move on to the next thing. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I've changed my whole opinion of being online, um, speaking authentically, because that's what I do every day. And I need to find that ability to do it and enjoy it. Enjoy 